the abandoned amusement park sat on the outskirts of town, half-swallowed by weeds and thick, clinging fog. Every local knew about it, a place once buzzing with laughter, now only murmured about in hushed voices. Nightmares crept from its gates, people said, and shadows loomed where daylight refused to tread. It had been closed for 30 years after a ride malfunction killed six people. Some said the ride still ran at night, its phantom screams drifting on the wind. But Ellie had never believed in ghost stories. She was here for one reason, to prove the park was just a rotting husk of rusted metal and forgotten dreams. She brought her flashlight, a backpack, and her friend, Caleb, who had agreed to join her more out of fear of missing out than any true courage. The air was thick with decay as they crept under the twisted, broken archway. Ellie's flashlight cut through the dark, the beam skimming over rusted carnival booths with faded signs and prizes still hanging from hooks, brittle and crumbling. There was no wind, yet the air seemed to hum with the eerie music of a carousel that hadn't turned in decades. They exchanged a glance, both silently deciding to ignore it. As they moved further in, the silence grew, heavy and stifling. The only sounds were the crunching of gravel beneath their feet and the distant echo of dripping water. They came to a ride, the ferris wheel, looming against the sky like a giant skeletal spider. Its metal frame was bent and broken in places, and half the cars were missing, lying scattered across the cracked pavement like discarded toys. Ellie laughed nervously. See? Just old metal and busted lights. Nothing creepy about it. But Caleb wasn't listening. He was staring at the ferris wheel, his face pale. Did you see something? No, it's just... Come on, don't freak out on me. He took a step back, glancing around as if he could sense something else he couldn't. Let's just get this over with and leave, okay? They continued through the park, past the haunted house, with windows like hollow eyes and the bumper cars, where the shadows seemed to writhe and move of their own accord. A dark mass of clouds rolled over the moon, casting the entire park in a pitch-black shroud. The faint hum of the carousel music grew louder. Ellie's hand went to her flashlight, but the beam was dimming. She slapped it, but the light flickered, then died. They were left standing in the dark. Caleb, she whispered, reaching out for him but her hand met only empty air. Caleb? Her voice grew shriller. This isn't funny. No answer. A quiet creak sounded in the darkness. She turned toward it, squinting into the inky blackness, her breath shallow. Slowly, her eyes adjusted. She could make out a figure, just barely, a silhouette against the twisted remnants of the roller coaster tracks. Caleb? The figure moved, stepping forward, one lurching step at a time. It was wrong, somehow, its legs seemed too long, arms bending at strange angles as it took each step. She backed away, her pulse racing. Then, in a flash, the moon broke through the clouds, spilling pale light across the park. Ellie stifled a scream. The figure was a twisted, grinning clown, its paint faded and cracked eyes dull but still reflecting the moonlight with a cold, sinister gleam. She could see the fabric of its costume, tattered and stained, hanging off its bony frame. In its hand, it clutched a rusted chain, dangling like a child's toy. It took another lurching step forward, and then another, the grin stretching wider as it moved. Ellie's breath hitched, her feet frozen to the spot. Hello, Ellie, it rasped its voice like gravel dragging across glass. She stumbled backward, hard hammering as she turned to run. But the park was shifting around her. Paths twisted, booths seemed to close in, and as she ran, she could feel the weight of something behind her, looming closer, its breath hot on the back of her neck. The carousel was up ahead, its lights flickering to life in eerie shades of green and yellow. She ran toward it, desperate for an exit, any way out of this maze. But as she approached, the music grew louder, morphing into a shrieking, 
discordant symphony that drilled into her skull. Then she saw Caleb sitting on one of the carousel horses, his eyes wide and unblinking. He was grinning, his mouth stretched too wide, his face as pale as a ghost. Caleb, she cried, reaching out. He didn't move. The carousel began to turn, faster and faster, the colors blurring together in a sickening whirl. Caleb's head lolled to one side, but his eyes remained fixed on Ellie, unblinking, the grin frozen. Ellie, he whispered. Come join us. She stumbled back, her legs shaking. The clown was there, standing beside her, that same grin twisted across its painted face. It reached out, placing a cold hand on her shoulder, fingers like icy claws digging into her skin. Forever, it whispered. Her scream tore through the night, echoing into the empty darkness of the amusement park. And then, silence. In the days that followed, locals whispered about the strange lights they had seen flickering in the park that night. Some claimed they heard laughter, high and shrill, echoing across the foggy fields. And at the edge of town, the old Ferris wheel started to turn once again, its lights flickering on one by one as it spun, and spun, and spun.